Hey you guys, Zoyo here with another GTA video. Today I will be talking about the new DLC, not giving away any spoiler, well I kinda am. The new DLC that's coming out, Smuggler's Run, and I won't be playing anything on next gen consoles, because I'm playing on last gen consoles, I'm playing on my 360, but back to what I was mainly talking about though. Um, in Smuggler's Run, like, certain missions in, like, normal game, before any of the stuff that ex that's exclusive to next gen and PC, you can, you still can, but, um, the, some things are run by Trevor, like, a few of the heists, in Smuggler's Run, you're actually working with Ron this time. Which I thought was pretty cool because, you know, Ron is like the Mimi character of the game. Or one of them, anyway. I always thought Ron was the main Mimi character. Or, no, 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 not uh, Ron. Ron is one of the Mimi characters to me, but, um... I always thought it was Lamar. <laughs> and so also the cops are pretty Mimi too. Jesus, they've almost obliterated the cops. Money, gun. Yep, get in and go. Let me go first, though. I said let me go first. Bam. But, um, yeah. And there's a bunch of new... It's, this one is kind of like the gun running DLC, except instead of ground vehicles, it's air vehicles. Ah! No, where'd it go? I had a Serrano here. But, you know, like I was saying, though, the gun running, or, no, the Smuggler's Run DLC is not just for Grand Theft Auto V, but before Grand Theft Auto, I believe, I don't remember if it's before or after, or the first few Grand Theft Auto games, but, um, Rockstar actually made this game for like the PS2 and PS1 I believe or maybe just the PlayStation 2 or something and maybe for PC called Smuggler's Run but this they're adding a bunch of new special planes one that doesn't even use propellers So you can't have your Zantorno's wheel cut off if you drive it under it. Just like my friend did. He drove my Zantorno under the Titan that I took from the airport in online. And um, my Zantorno's front wheel <laughs> fell off. So yeah, I thought that it was pretty cool that it's kind of like gun running, but with a bunch of planes instead of cars. Because we've got enough cars in the game, and we have like almost no planes. Like, we have a few planes, the ones that are currently in the game... 
we've pretty much always had. But nothing really added any more planes. That's the Osiris. But yeah, nothing added anything. Import export added a bunch of new vehicles, like a bunch of new ground cars. But with all the DLCs, we have a bunch of cars already. Like, there's over at least a thousand cars in the game. Oh, pretty much already. But, you know, we just don't have enough. Or we have more than enough cars. People say they have almost every car in the game. No, you don't. There's more DLCs coming out that are adding more cars. And they probably always will be. People know that GTA 6 is technically already... Is kind of already out. There is a beta for popular YouTubers, they get a beta code to it, just like they do with uh, Call of Duty World War II. And so, yeah, that's one of the cool things. Me no get beta code though, because I'm not that popular. But still, I'm starting to get there. Yeah, I'm waiting to get a next-gen console, and then I can make videos on these DLCs, and also what I'm wondering is, like, in this impound lot, there's only two areas your car can get impounded, in these two spots, the red ones, but these two are unused, so I'm wondering if there's going to be a DLC that adds these. It says parking, but maybe eventually we'll get a garage there? Why is there a Cyrus over here now? But yeah, maybe eventually that will add what I just said. Maybe I'll make a mod that opens up a lot of areas in the game. I was gonna say, like I'm doing Terraria, even though you've got every area already open to you, pretty much, from the start of the game. There's only two places where you have to defeat a boss to get into. Maybe I'll add, like, an RPG mod or something. Not one that adds new RPGs, I mean, like, an MMO mod. Which gives you like player leveling in story mode, like in GTA Online. And it adds a bunch of extra guns that may not ever be added. Maybe I'll make my own guns. I don't know. So yeah, if you guys want me to make a mod for GTA 5, leave a like on this video. Also, if you guys want to see more GTA 5, or just any videos in general from me, also hit that like button. And can we try to hit 5 billion likes on this video. Just kidding. No, five billion is too insane. If you guys are still watching and you haven't liked yet, can we at least get, um, I'm going to say five likes. 
and for a mega goal instead of five likes if you guys want to hit the mega goal tell all your friends to like this video and let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video because I have more than 50 subs and I'm happy about it a hundred subs is probably where I'm gonna set up my AdSense account So then I can start making money off my videos. And then maybe, just maybe I'll have enough to buy a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Preferably a PS4 though. And then I'll use that money for game DLCs and stuff. To help make better quality content and stuff. Maybe I'll actually buy a proper camera too. Thing is, I'm recording off my iPod. So my content is pretty bad quality. Oh god. That scared me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end that video here. Ah! Ah, shit. I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked it, drop a like on the video. If you didn't like it, drop a like on that video, on this video anyways. And... Feel free to subscribe and comment. Also, go check out my friend Gavin's channel at Gavin Stacy or HTP Viral with two eyes. Because without him, my channel would not exist because he actually made this channel. And yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.